with my partner the other day. And he was telling me about the struggle within himself and his demons. Then he told me the more that he started to understand his demons, the more that he started to love me. Right. <laughs> now, I stuffed up the other video. Right. I don't know what it means. Anyway. Right. So, is this my? Who is it? No, it's a bar. It's fucking everywhere. Right. I know what I've got myself into. Um, it doesn't scare me. Um. I did read some of the comments that some people put up, and um, yeah, you know, um, yeah, I can see how it could be daunting for some, big risk, yeah, but um, the way I see it is, is um, it's out of warranty, and um, you know, I'm, a, I'm not cracking the engine open, I'm just, uh, you know, checking the wires out and putting new plugs in, which I can do, and you know, oil change and air filter and everything, all that's got to come off, you know. Um, I've just approached it as it's just a, 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 um, a normal bike, which is really what it is, but um, just don't crack the engine, you know, because it's like a box of springs in there. Um, but, anyway, so when we were in the lounge room, I put it all back together, and um, I was putting the petrol tank on. And I've been noticing that it, when I connected the tubing, which is, um, uh, sorry, here, right, right, the tubing here, right, see that, right, right, when I connected these two tubes, right, to the bottom of the tank, one of them was, um, as soon as I turned the ignition on, one of them was blowing off. I'm thinking, what's going on here? You know? What, is it done? Yeah, I'll, I'll just, you know. So anyway, I had a look. Anyway, I took the tank off. And, um, oh, you know, one of them's the pump, so that's fine. That's that's circulating. But there's a return line, because you, you, it's got a return, but it keeps a certain amount of pressure in the line. And um, the, the one that was going back in was... Uh, wasn't letting anything in. That's what was popping off. And petrol used to fuck, run out, run everywhere. Anyway, so I'm like, you know, so, so I thought, hang on, that might be part of the problem. Why, why it's, you know, dropping a cylinder, it's over fueling, um, backfiring, you know, or you, you know, anyway. So, well, I did start it up and it started fine. But when I started it up, I had it on the, um, had the battery in it and the battery charger on. And it started up fine, sounded good. Anyway, we got to the, we found out that anyway, this battery, it's not powerful enough. So that's not my mistake, it's the bike's mistake, but I did um, query it. And how's this, um, the battery that the bike came with, which was a, a lead-based battery, um, they don't make it anymore. So I have to go to look at him. Unbelievable. Anyway, so, but needless to say, there we still oh, it, it rose another problem. So I've got this still with the original problem, but now it's poked its head up, and um, with the tank. So I brought the tank, took the tank off, and um, I've pulled it, pulled the um, pump out, which is internal. There's most box out. There's Dave. So yeah, you can see it's internal. Let's pull this out. All right. And um, you know, this one here, the in one, right, wasn't letting anything in, nothing, not letting anything in. So anyway, I pulled it all out, and um, it's a setup where you know uh, you got a little valve in there, and it goes in, and then it pushes the fuel back out, but the direction it pushes it out in is directly straight back into the the um, the fuel pump, so it's not. Spinning swishing your fuel around in the tank. So anyway, um, I've gotten the um, offending part, and I'm, you know, trying to, you know, 
before I took it out, and you know, I'm, you know, having a crack, you know, trying to get it, you know, um, trying to get it out or get it moving. Um, anyway, so that's not working. So here I am. I've got the uh, the magnifying glass. Oh, I'm going to see here. There it is. I'm going to make the fine glass. Yeah. And I'm, you know, with the screwdriver with the spring, because the spring loaded it. And there's a, a rod in there. So when the pressure, the pusher comes in, we all know it pushes up and then petrol, you know, flows back in. At a certain, you know, rate. Because it has to keep some sort of pressure. At, at, so you'd expect it to be pretty critical on the pressure that's got to keep in the line. So anyway, mucking around and everything like that, I've got it yet, I'm trying. Anyway, I've got the spring, I finally wound the spring. The spring was all the way down. It had gone right over it, it had gone over there. Oh, how did this happen? I mean, how did it get down there? And then I'm looking at it and it was rusty. I'm like, oh, Jesus. It just got better, you know? I'm like, so as I've got it all the way out, it still wouldn't move. So, you know, one thing, you know, when you when things you know, if you can't fix it, and the only way you know really, you know how you see Danny, you know he, he throws his helmet, you know, or it's broken. That's it. That's it. That's it. He'll wreck it even more. The reason why is because once it's broken, you know, a little bit, it's broken. You you're gonna waste your time. You can't fix it. You know. It just, just get it out of sight, out of mind, and, and even if it's still in sight, at least you, you know it's stuffed, right? So, the missus was inside, the bike was out here now, and I've, I've mucking around with this thing, and that's the offending part. See? That, that's the offending part. So, if you went in there, in there Right, that was at the top, and then that hose, and then the hose, and it went over there. So anyway, it wasn't moving. The spring was all the way out. It was rusted. So I just threw it on the ground. Got my hammer, yeah, and just went. Anyway, the missus come running in. And she said, what was that noise? I said, oh, well, um, that part won't be, um, won't, won't leak anymore, but, you know. I won't do anything anymore. She said, what do you mean? I said, there it is. She said, what did you do that for? I said, oh, just, it, it, it stops me from trying to muck around with it. Now I can get on with fixing it. So anyway, um, I did. I fixed it. I went to my uh, little cupboard. Oh, I'm here. Oh, man. Nuts and bolts. Collect it over the years, yeah. Everything you do. Alright. So anyway. Found the ball bearing. Lots of ice. Got a no ring. Yeah, before the ball bearing. Got the ball bearing, beautiful. Got a little spring. Yeah. And he had that got a top, so it had a jettison fuel out there, so perfectly all in there. In that little Cup all of it was like that, you know. So, like that, like that, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, getting back to the fuel, it's got to come back in a certain pressure, you know. So that was pretty critical. So I had to look at this spring, and you know, you know, it had to be. It's, it's got to be critical because you got to keep a certain pressure in the line, you know. It's going too fast, it'll start, and it's not the only. You're just going to pop lock in. Right so, outside, or it's going to piss out the injector when it's open. So, I've got this spring and I've put it in there, and I, I know where this sits, how far that goes here, but with this one. And I, you know, I've got the ball bearing to, you know, so when I unplug it, my fuel leaks, I pop off. So, anyway, um, I've got the spring, and I'm looking at it, and this is how I did it, right? I'm looking at it, and I've just gone, stretched it, and held it in my finger, and That'll be it. Right. Put it in there. Put the cap on. Put a spring washer on there. Yeah. Now, now look at this. Yeah. It leaks. But not like. Look. 
Let's stop, okay? Look, look, look. See? Look at that. Not one drop. Fixed. Right? Fixed. You know, you know this? I'll tell you, if it wasn't, you know, before, with the, with the um, fuses, you know, I've gone from a, a, a five pin to a four pin. Oh my God. Anyway, so, here we are here. So that delved up with another problem, so I'll fix that one. That was a problem. That was going to be a problem. So I'll fix that's fixed. We still uh, we're back to this. We've rectified it. We're pretty sure it's the battery. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to double check my work and um, go over things. And um, yeah, I was surprised to find that. Um, let's have a look at this. Look at this. Now I haven't done this. Look at that. Where's the where's the plate? You know that nice black cotton stuff? Look at that. You know, I've got it in the bin. It's all over the place. Look, look. You know, you didn't even, when you put the bike back here, you just slapped it. Right? Then, there's parts, you know, parts of the bike that weren't, um, that weren't, he, he hadn't even run the wires correctly. Right? Okay? So, so you over here, you've got, you've got, things are critical, you know, you, you, there's no need for a wire to be stretched, or even on the cusp of being that bit too tight. The motor's not going to move, but it doesn't matter, you, you, there's no need, you know, right? And I'm looking at the bike and I'm going, it's not right, you know? And over here, I'm looking at, the, the, there's a, a plug here, and that's for the radio, the fan. And there's a dual fan, so there's another one here. But I'm looking at it, and the fan one that's over here, in there, up the back here, and this one's up there, and it was, it was tight. I thought, yeah, he hasn't even done it right. In here, I've had to pull all this apart, I've had to re route this correctly, so it's nice. Firm, tight, everything. So I'm, I'm having to redo this. Who is? Have to redo that. Right? Right, have to redo that. This is alright, it's alright. I've had to rerun my power cable, my earth cable, correctly. The way they had it was wrong. This was loose, I was wondering what's going on here. Um, one of the O-rings was gone. You know, I mean, how can it go? There's going to be a remnant of it, there's two areas in there, it's going to be a remnant of one. So obviously when you pushed it in, it's broken, it's fucked off. And I've been running around this. Loose, which is only your admissions anyway, but it doesn't matter. So I'm checking everything over, right? And anyway, we come down to, um, yeah, you know, your um, your power lead regulator, right? Now, oh, listen, I'll agree with everybody. The um, they didn't really think about this when they thought about when they did the power regulator. Um, not, I don't think many people knew, right? But I certainly found out. Um, the power regulator, yeah? That thing there, right? There it is, that thing there. Got that there. Um, there was a problem. So they were uh, cooking themselves. <laughs> well, good thing I like speed, right? Because I was flying along down the freeway, or as Danny would say on a private um, runway, and uh, I won't bring in the fish and chips and all of that, you know, I'll just say that was, I was doing around about 280, right, and you know what, thank God, right, because what people see, what people seem to, not, they, they overlook, right, is carbon fibre is exactly what it is, carbon, okay, it's then covered with a resin, which that resin protects it, okay, it is very strong, and that, but at the end of the day, it is carbon. Now, there was a, a, a documentary called The Britain, about um, the Britain, the motorbike, in New Zealand, and he got a weave of carbon fibre, and he needed to test, you know, he wanted to test when the burning point, when, when it went. Well, he found when it went, and it took a long time when it went, when it, it, it can withstand a lot of heat, right? So long as it's got the protective, you know, coat, whatever, for this. Right, but when it goes through that protective coat, that's it. It's gone, mate, because it is carbon. 
it, it, it'll just, it'll, the whole box cap, it'll go through. So, let me ask you this. How much heat would it have to take to burn a hole right through the middle of that? Because that's what happened to me. It happened to one bloke in America. He was on his desk, mate, sitting in California traffic. Poor bloke couldn't do anything, right? These were on a recall, right? He didn't crash his bike, nothing. It, it, this popped, got hot. He literally had to put his bike up against the wall and watch it burn. Now, I followed that up to see what happened with that because he didn't crash it or anything like that. Very quietly, they won't admit it, but this is what happened. Because it, it was a, war, a recall thing. That was the only Desmo Sedici to be taken, because it was not structural or anything like that, although it was a write-off, but it was instructional. They put the bike back down the line and they redid it again and gave them a brand new bike. That's, oh, because the reason why they did that is they didn't have to make another one, they used these. They're still exactly 1,500 out there. But mine went, and thank God I was doing 280, because I didn't see the smoke, because it was all white smoke. Came out the back. The speed that I was doing kept the temperature down. And I slowed down, I couldn't go, there was no power, right? And I, um, but it pulled it, it kept it away. But have a look how close it is, look at the tightness it's put in. Look at that, right there. It's right there. I mean, these things get hot, you know? So anyway, so, all of that. So anyway, as I'm going along, you know, checking the bike finding more wrong, you know, this is not wrong, but it's things that went right, they went put right. I had to drill a hole here, in the, um, one of the inlets, ports, right, because um, what he'd done is, he's, he put it on there, yeah, and it takes three, three, three Allen key bolts to hold it there, right. And the front one, he'd obviously caught the thread, crossed it, and, and it got tight. Instead of checking to see if he, if it, what he'd done, he just left it and he tightened up the other two. The other one wasn't even all the way down. He's cross-threaded it. Well, I didn't know that. So when I've come along to take it off, it broke. So I had to drill a hole and then I had to tap it. Just wasn't even doing it. Yeah. Well, so anyway, so the bike's getting it going over. I was just, I'm, not, I'm just letting you know what, what I've done, right? You, you've seen it. You're probably all having heart attacks. Jesus Christ, what's he doing? Right? As I said before, slow and steady. Won't win the, doesn't necessarily win the race. But at least you've got to have something at the end of it. You know? Um, and I might may, I may, may mention some of the comments. Some people have gone, she's got balls. Um, you know, it's a, it's a temperamental machine. Yes, it is a temperamental machine. It is, I know that. Um, I have not, I believe you me, I'm not working on this thing and I'm not appreciating the workmanship and everything and what the actual bike is. I'm not just kicking it around. I'm not having a crack, you know? All right? Um, I'm taking my time. As I said, there is, no, you, if, there is nothing online about this engine. You can't even find diagrams on how to run things. I mean, you see a diagram, but it's not the other side. So a proper diagram, you see it all, all dimensions. There's nothing, right? They don't even tell you what relays do. You know, what, everything, you know, so I've had to work it out all myself, and that, I've done that. Um, yeah, so, and, you know, I've been giving the bike to the cleaners for some time. But, um, yeah, some of the comments, it is quite funny, you know, it, it's good. But, um, yeah, it's, kept, it's, it's helped. Um, and while we're on that note, um, this was in place. Yeah, it was in here. That night, um, that um, Danny made me laugh. I blew my tooth here. So yeah, it, it, being like this, it's good because yeah, I, it, I'm not thinking about it. Um, it's there, but I, I love my bikes. I want to see this running, and be the way it's treated from someone else. That really should be. It, it should have come out. You know, fantastic, and it hasn't. You know, I mean, look at it. You know, it, it, things are like this. You know, I mean, just, things went tight. You know, to shut off right, rise went run. So it, I, I feel sorry for me, bike. I love me bike, so I want to see it running properly. Now, you know, I ran it. It ran on two cylinders, but 
you know, the battery is more than likely the battery because it's not producing enough current. Because when on the dash, it said 11.8. When I turn it on, it should be sitting over around about 12.3, right? And then when I turn it on, it should be up around about, the, you know, to anywhere from 13.5 to 14.2. That's what it should be on, on, on idle. And it's only sitting on um, 12 point, uh, sorry, 12.2. Um, so it, it's it, it's it's not enough. Um, yeah. So yeah. Then, so yeah. So I'm, I'm getting there. It should be the way things gone now. I've, I've gone right through the whole bike, um, and now it's just a matter of putting. I've got to do this. I'll put. I'll run on me um, leads, me um, ignition leads, correctly. Double check them. Um, oh, here and have a look at this. Probably can't see. <laughs> One of the relay that goes into that the, uh, regulator, voltage regulator, it takes two plugs. Um, this plug here is wire speed. Bad wires on all four. So, and um, I saw that and they were touching. That might have a bit to do with maybe voice be out of sync as well. See, the, the, the thing that gets me about this is, is this. The bike's not throwing up any codes, no errors, okay? I'll, I'm going into the program, there's no, there's no errors. So, for there to be no errors, right, it's obviously it just, it's, it's something just awry. You know, something's touching, something's a fuse, whatever. So, all the fuses are fine. So, um, if there was errors, believe you me, I'd be looking them up and I'd be finding everything like that. Um, but there's no errors. So while we're kicking along, I haven't cracked anything, right? I did, uh, I did, uh, I did take one, one off the car. Just have a look. And, um, while I was there, I just sort of, I checked the, um, uh, the belt, you know, the belt seats. Anyway. So yeah, um, you know. Oh look, I, I just, I love, I love, um, Anything mechanical, and you know, uh, um, you know, I, you know, went over to um, uh, David's place. I met David on um, Danny's um, ride from Zorn Harley. He did a bit of a ride. He put on a bit of a ride, and it's that weekend, yeah. And um, you know, uh, you know, him and I, obviously, everyone knows we talk, and you know, we're we're friends. Um, Anyway, he invited me to come on the ride, and I said, yeah, no worries, so I met him at his place, and then, you know, I rode down to Geelong Harley, and um, of course, you know, it's you know, Danny, you know, you're a million dollar bogan, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not there for any accolades on the deck, you know, I'm there to just, you know, for, for what it is, and the same as him, you know, I mean, you know, and then, anyway, so people want to get photos, and take photos, and, you know, Danny's, you know, off he goes, and that, anyway, um, Two people, um, uh, more than two people, but two people actually came up to me. David was one, and his um, partner Helen, and he had a photo with Danny, and he's going, oh, I've got to have a photo of you. Come here, legend, you're a, you're a legend, you know, to me. <laughs> I'm like, huh? he's going, come here, you know, I've got to, I want to get a photo of you, mate. You know? You're a top bloke, you know. I'm like, huh? should I watch your videos and that. And, um, That was really um, touching that I was um, not recognised, but something I'd said or, or, or did in a video or whatever it may be. It helped him, it made him, oh, I don't know, but it was enough for him to, you know, you could see. Um, and then I met another bloke. Quietly, I was sitting up against the, you know, uh, up against the the Corel there at um, Geelong Harley just sitting there on my own, you know. And um, this bloke comes up and he goes, you know, you mate, I said, yeah, not too bad. I said, um, oh, Justin, he goes, yeah, there we go. I said, oh, okay. He said, yeah, what's your video? I said, yeah. He said, yeah, well, yeah. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day, take steps, you know, keep busy, whatever. His name was Scotty. And um, he was on his own. And he bought a Harley before COVID. So, he's really his first day on it was that day. And um, 
we had a good talk, you know, Scotty and I. And um, I bought him a drink um, and everything. And, and So, hello, Scotty, and hello, David. Thanks very much for, you know, um, seeing, you know, saying hello. And we've made friends, I mean, since then I've seen David and Helen, I've, you know, fixed David's bike, his ignition came out of his Harley. Uh, fix that, you know. Um, you know, um, yeah, it, it, good people, you know, good people. Um, you know, and and Scotty, yeah, he made mention, you know, uh, keep in touch, you know. So, hey, Scotty, how you going, mate? Hope you're all right. Riding your bike, your Harley. But, um, I do. I don't, I'm not, I, with me, I just want to explain myself, because I don't, I've just, I've asked Danny about this, and I've asked a few people, and I feel obligated to just give you a little bit of an insight about me, because um, there's a lot of people out there that try, try to play off that they're, that, that, that they're this, when they're not, they're nowhere near it, um, they're fake, yeah, it's, a, it's just a story, right, and you know, Danny, I think he's, he, he's proven to everyone, he's done enough videos, and, and everything, right, that's Danny, you know, he's got some, he's, he's ups and downs, and he showed us all, he's, you know, better. Um, I'm not here to do what Danny does, but, and I can't, that's not me, you know, uh, we're, all, we're all different. Um, but, um, I think where this is, um, with me, um, how I got to, this, how I'm here now. You know, briefly, you know, uh, uh, rough childhood. We've all, but there's many a person out there with rough childhood. Um, I'm not saying mine, it's just how it was, you know, and, and the people have been through far worse than me. Um, and I'm not, I'm not wanting help, you know. Um, I'm not, you know, sucking, I'll get on with it. Um, you know, I, I, my mother, my mother left me, my mother had me. And she didn't want me basically. Uh, my grandmother brought me up. Uh, Mum was there, and then um, yeah, I'll oh, briefly I'll, I'll go over it. And um, yeah, so then my grandmother passed away when I was ten. Um, it's different when you when you're born into the world and you, you're wanted. Um, I was born into this world. First of all, my um, Mother crossed her legs, and when her water broke, and um, my twin sister passed away, um, and I always felt there was something missing, and it came out. But anyway, um, and it was an emergency C-section, the Queen Vic, which is gone, um, and I was put on another woman's breast. Um, I wasn't brought into the world because I was wanted um, at all. You know, my mum didn't want. She pushed it, she felt pregnant, and her brothers and sisters said, you know, get rid of it, you know, you're young, what are you doing? And this is in the day when it was hard, single, single women did it hard, you know? And, um, you know, but the, the ones, most, the majority, loved the children, you know? My mum was like, I'll take it to this point, and then, you know, hopefully it all goes wrong, and then I can, you know, off the left, and that, and I survived. You know? So, um, my grandmother, um, and my Aunt Pat, and my Uncle John, and my Pop, um, they, 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 they took me in, which is, you know, they, they, they've had their life, you know, they, they didn't want me, they didn't want me, you know, um, but what they did do is they, they, they loved me, I know what love is, put it that way, I do know what love is, my, my grandmother showed me love, I know, I know what love is, real love, um, and then when my grandmother passed away, um, my mum went into um, prostitution and moved along anyway, we got to Queensland and she left me in Massa probably when I was aged 14. <laughs> so, you know, I grew up in Queensland in Massa Palo for a few years on my own with him. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I reckon I've done it wrong. You know, it's just, um, it's now, like along the way, you know, I, I've, I don't mind the fight to achieve. I don't mind the fight. That's what, you know, I don't want it easy. I never wanted anything easy. You know, not, not, I knew that there was any other way anyway. But, um, 
So I, I, I enjoyed the fight. I was, I was healthy. I, everything, you know. Um, but I got there, you know. Obviously, I was able to buy this, so something went wrong. But then, um, something went a bit wrong um, financially um, with um, my current partner, Mary. Um, she wanted to have a, a child. And, that, and I said, oh, look, can we just put it off for 12 months? Because we had to do it here. Um, and she she put her foot down, she said, I want to do it. I said, I don't know, I don't know. So, you know, I, I, was, I wasn't saying all right to please her. I was saying, okay, we're, 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 it's a team effort. We're, I'm, I'm in as well. You know, I'm just saying, oh, I've said to you, if we could just put it off for 12 months. But if not, okay, no worries. It'll be fine. Because I'm not going to go through it too. And, and I want the time. As it turned out, um, that didn't happen. You know, didn't have to, um, didn't have to the child, didn't, the eggs, because of our age, you eat, your eggs eat your age. Um, and, um, but I've, I've got two children anyway, um, my daughter doesn't, she's been in jail, she doesn't talk to me anyway, so, you know, I've got my grandson and everything, so, but, um, with what happened with Mary, um, you know, um, we went out. Yeah, not, we went into the pokies. I did, I, 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 I don't care. Um, and she used to gamble, and she was good, you know, 20 bucks, she used to last the whole night. Obviously something, and I was asking her after this happened, when it didn't happen, I was checking her, you're right, you're right, you're right. You know, I really was, maybe, I, you know. And anyway, well, it wasn't right. And, um, yeah, I sort of saw the signs. But yeah, you see it. And yeah, you, you, you sort of you go stop. You see it, and you just stop, stop, stop. Because if you have to go up to them and say stop, were they re were they really going to stop? Do you know what I mean? You, you just want to know. You know, and it's hard because I, I love her. Um, she was very close. Um, very close. Mary's a good soul. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Um, and sometimes she gets a little bit lost. But she doesn't talk. She, you know, like it's insecurity. But then that's just probably you not know, why this. When but that, I, I was in, in a very mixed up place because it was of my ex, my other ex. I, I knew she was going to do that. She was going to take money off me and everything. But I knew that. You know, so I've allowed for it, I'm fine with it. That's what she was about. Um, my mother and all that, everyone. Yeah. But when it's, it, I've met Mary and it's like, it's love, you know, um, instant me. And I do believe that one person in a relationship loves more than the other. They have to keep that, you know. If you both love you, you get sick of each other. So you, it's, a, it's a, one's more than the other. And um, anyway. It was hard for me because I was upset with what happened and where it had put us, it put us right back. Um, it was a big blow for me, um, it, it, that took me off my feet. Um, I faced a lot of things in life um, and with that happening and then my ex, you know, taking the, the, my grandson off my daughter because she was on drugs and then me finding out about it and you know not being told and everything and it was just a bam 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 I, I, I didn't have a, I didn't even have a chance to get a, a, a firm grip on the first problem to the next one to the next one <laughs> and I thought you know and no one to talk and then uh, in, at the same time the people I, I should be turning to talk to are the ones who have actually done the banging you know so it's hard to talk to them you know and uh, yeah I um it's hard. But when you love someone, um, they, they can pretty much, yeah, they can really hurt yeah, you. And um, it's taken me a little bit to see that. And, uh, but I've never left. Never left. I've stayed. Uh, never went out. I don't, I don't go 